afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. This is the day the Lord has made, and of course, we are rejoicing and glad in it. Yes. David said, I will bless the Lord at all, all times, right. and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Praise God. Without the bell, give him a great big welcome at this well, time. good afternoon. We praise and thanking God once again that you woke up this morning and getting ready to start your day. If you haven't started your day, you're going to start your day. So we just praise and thank God that you're with us this afternoon, and we're looking for a great time in God. Amen. Talking about how we're going to be able to re receive our wealth through the grace of God that has been given unto us. Praise <laughs> God. That's right. Amen. And that's the whole goal is this, is that a grace has been given to us. But a lot of times people got a very dim oh re God. view of the grace of God. Yes, yes. I mean, you know, we quote, which is really powerful. We're talking about getting saved, you know, in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8, was by grace are you saved through faith, not of works that any man should boast. Mm -hmm. And that is great. But how about milking the rest of that? The rest yes. of that revelation out of there, yes. because a lot of times people don't know that that grace covers uh, everything spiritual, mm -hmm. everything physical, and everything financial in oh, your yeah. life. But because a part of my assignment is to deal with the financial side of it, praise yes. God. We're gonna look at this today on the title of this: Grace <laughs> for a Greater Dimension of Wealth. Praise Amen. God. Grace for yes. a Greater Dimension of Wealth. Excuse I want to begin today with a little story that I heard one day. And it was about a man who was going through a very dangerous part of, of the jungle. Mm. And uh, he, as he was going through there, he, he, on the road, he saw a big python snake right in the middle of the road. <laughs> Fear gripped him. He said, oh, my God, I got to get me a big stone and try to kill this thing. Are you following me? He got the biggest stone he could find that he could actually carry himself. But as he approached that, that, that python snake, the closer the, he approached, he recognized the python snake was there, but it wasn't moving. Mm -hmm. So he got a little bit closer, a little bit closer, and he found out the python snake was not only not moving, it was dead. Oh, <laughs> and praise God, it was already dead. Yes, and yes. so uh, what he found out is this, that someone had already gone ahead of him mm -hmm. and killed it and defeated it for him. Thank All you. he had to do was walk right on through that thing and oh, step right over it because it was dead. Yes. That's grace. <laughs> That's grace. Thank grace you. is understanding this, that whatever whatever snake and devil, praise God, God, that's on your road, mm -hmm. that's trying to block your progress, mm -hmm. you need to recognize that it's already, it's dead. already dead. Jesus that's defeated good. the devil. <laughs> he defeated everything spiritually. Mm -hmm. He defeated the devil physically. And he defeated the devil financially for you and my sight. Praise we got to understand that it, he's still there. All right. The Bible said he comes around as a roaring lion. Oh, yeah. Seeking who he may devour, but you need to recognize he's already dead. Oh, he's really? been rendered powerless, praise God, and he operates in fear. See, the man was good with fear because he saw the snake. Mm. But what he didn't see, that the snake was already dead. Yes. <laughs> Amen. So I'm, I'm, I'm praying today that God give you a revelation that the snake... Everything you're dealing with in Satan's power to defeat you has already been yes, defeated by Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But we're going to talk about this today, about grace then, this same grace uh -huh. for a greater dimension of wealth. Beautiful. We're talking about all this week, but we're talking about oh, wealth. Yeah. We're hitting it right with the devil. That's right. We hit it right on the head, praise That's God. Right. Grace <laughs> for a greater dimension of Ooh. wealth in your life. Right. And let's, let's start here, Dr. Bill, mm -hmm. in 2 Corinthians chapter number 8 and verse number 9. For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that you through his poverty might be rich. Isn't that a blessing? Amen. Praise God. So we can see here mm -hmm. that the enormity of Jesus. Number one, we saw, uh, you know, we, we're not going through that scripture, but in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, mm -hmm. it said Jesus Christ became sin for us. Yes, yes. That we might be, that we might be made yes. the righteousness, righteousness of God. Mm -hmm. So he took on the spiritual side. He became sin, mm -hmm. who knew no sin, mm -hmm. that we might make the righteousness of God. Yes. That's great. That's great. Number two, the Bible says he bore our sicknesses in his body mm -hmm. on the cross and with, uh, with, and with his stripes we are healed. Mm -hmm. Matthew 8, 17 and 18, it said that Jesus Christ healed all that were sick, yes. that it might be fulfilled with other prophets. Isaiah that said himself took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses. Yes, yes. So we can see that Jesus Christ also gave us grace for healing. Yes. But now we see something even greater. We see that, Je uh, well, not as greater, but as, as 
equal to rather, and that is the grace for being rich. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Now, sometimes people have no problem saying, well, you know, Jesus became sin for me. I made me righteous, so therefore I am the righteousness of God. Mm -hmm. People have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or they'll say, praise God, you know, he also bore my sicknesses in his body and, 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 and by his stripes I was healed. And they have no problem with that. That's another revelation. But when it comes down to, to this scripture, that he also became poor, yes. that you and I through his poverty might be made Hallelujah. rich. Hallelujah. Are you following them? People say, oh my God, oh no, 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 not no money. Let me tell you something. Come who on, who owns it all? Thank you. Hey, God, 2A said the silver is God's and the gold belongs to mm -hmm. God. The Bible says in the book of uh, 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 Genesis chapter 13 and verse 2 that Abraham was very rich mm -hmm. in silver and yeah. in gold. Yeah. So we can we need to understand this, that, that, that God wants you blessed spiritually yes he does from right from sin to righteousness mm -hmm. he wants you blessed physically mm -hmm. from sickness to health mm -hmm. and he wants you uh, uh, blessed financially from poverty to wow. wealth amen, amen. praise Thank God and so so we're gonna talk about that about mm -hmm. about I'm, I'm gonna help you first of all understand grace because we need to understand because you know sometimes if you don't have a good understanding of grace, mm -hmm. sometimes you'll be thinking, well, it's just being saved. I'm saved on my way to heaven. Right. And that is wonderful, praise right. God. But how about reaching the reaching the world with the gospel of Jesus there Christ? How about that, that church building that you need? How about yes. that building you need to start your business? How about the, the startup money you need? I mean, if you're going to start a business or a church, that's startup money. Mm -hmm. Buying equipment, buying the building, remodeling buildings. You know, Dr. Bell, we spent over two or $300,000 at one time yes, just remodeling buildings yes, to, to, so they yep. look presentable for a church. That's amen. Right. So, <laughs> so we're talking about wealth then, mm -hmm. you know, uh, not just enough to pay your little I'm talking about wealth to fulfill the assignment of God on your Thank life you. uh, in excellence yes. at the level he wants you to fulfill it. Mm -hmm. And that is more than just selling chicken dinners, having <laughs> bake sales. Right. Man, one time I first heard we had that in Coolidge. Mm -hmm. We were trying to raise money to get this one church down on 450 West Roosevelt. And, and man, we were selling chicken dinners, having chicken oh, dinners, selling chicken dinners, because that's all we Lord knew. We sold some chicken dinners. I started giving chicken dinners away, oh, yeah. praise God. But, you know, all them chicken dinners, we came up with $650. As you sell it, that was a lot of chicken dinners. But you know what? The kind of wealth God wants to bring yes. cannot come with selling chicken dinners. That's right. If, you're gonna, if, you're gonna, if you want to sell chicken, get a, a, a ticket fried chicken franchise. Right. Get a church of chicken franchise. <laughs> Amen. Get a Louisiana chicken franchise. If you want to be a chicken salesman. But if you're gonna if you're gonna be a kingdom person mm -hmm. and you're gonna walk operating the gospel of Jesus Christ, you've got to understand God's grace from wealth That's and great. continually understand God wants you to have that grace Amen. in your life. So that, that begin, let's begin to give you some definitions mm -hmm. of what is grace. When the Bible says you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. what does that mean at the bell? Number one. Grace is unearned. Unmerited special favor. Mm, grace is unmerited, yes. unearned special favor. Glory special to God. Amen. Number two, Dr. Bell. Grace is getting what you don't deserve because Jesus took what he didn't deserve. Mm, grace is getting what you don't deserve. Why? Yes. Because Jesus took what he didn't deserve. Amen. He became sin for us. Yes, he, did. he didn't deserve that. That's but right. but but we're able to now get what we I I I I, I don't we deserve. don't deserve because Jesus took what he did not deserve. Yes. And that's because that's what killed the python. Yes. Amen. He bore our sins. Amen. Uh, the penalty uh, uh, for sin was death. Mm -hmm. Bible said the ways of sin is death. So he had to die in our stead as a yes. substitute. But he did that. Yes. But you need to recognize he killed it. Yes. Amen. He defeated the devil. Praise right. God. He put the devil to naught in Jesus' name. So you need to understand that that's the grace that's on your life that's, that's going to cause you today to go to a higher dimension of wealth. I, Amen. I, uh, Dr. Bell, let's read our, mm -hmm. our three points there. Yes. You and I can receive good that we don't deserve because another took all the bad that he did not deserve. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, Amen. We can receive all the good we can receive all that we don't even deserve it. Because, you know, sometimes the devil try to match you up with your works. Oh, my God. You know, man, if you, you would probably be prospering a lot more if you didn't have this issue, that issue, mm -hmm. or that fault, and, you know, that slip and that slip, you know what I mean? And, you know, all of us, you know what I mean? I mean, we're all working our, our, our way into being mature and perfected, That's but right. we still got these issues. Are you oh, from in yeah. our lives that we steal, <laughs> the devil try to steal, put these mm -hmm. thoughts in our minds, and this is the why you're not being blessed. Yeah. But you need to understand that grace, grace here 
says you get what you don't deserve mm -hmm. because Jesus God did what you did not des what he did not deserve. That's right. Next point that what does that say there? He took all mm. of the punishment mm. for your sins. So we, you got to recognize in, in grace huh. that every sin, mm -hmm. everything that the devil keeps right, the right yes. he keeps bringing. But you know you did this. Yes. You know you missed it here. Mm -hmm. Jesus took all of that, mm -hmm. all the punishment for that yes, he past, present, and future. Mm -hmm. And you need to see that grace covers all of that yes. in Jesus' name. <laughs> the next point, Dr. Bell. Grace means I'm qualified, mm. indefinitely special. Mm. And stand out in the crowd. Mm. I can't put my finger on it. So grace means that whatever yes. you're looking for, you're qualified. Yes. Sometimes we try to find ourselves trying to qualify mm -hmm. ourselves for the goodness of God. My God. You know, go like the prodigal son, mm -hmm. because he went out and did some wrong. Yeah. And 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 he, you know, went out and wasted all his father's things on riotous living and women things like that, partying. Mm -hmm. And when he came to, he said, "You know what? Uh, 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 in my father's house, there is." Um, there's much more, there's even a servant even better than I mean right, right now. Right. So he felt like this. Came to him he felt like, he, that's why we came to him, but he felt unqualified to come yes, back. He, did. he said, you know what, Father? He said, I'm going to tell my father, mm -hmm. I'm no longer even worthy to be called your son. Mm -hmm. I'm no longer even qualified because of what I've done. My God. I've disqualified myself <laughs> for, 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 for being your son. Yes. And, and, and so he said, I'm going to tell my father, I'm not only worthy to be called your son. Make me as one of your highest servants. I'm not even qualified to be your son anymore because of what I've done. That's right. That's what the devil does. He's, yes. he's trying to get us to disqualify ourselves. Now, God didn't disqualify us. No, he didn't. But, but the devil gets us in that point, like he did the part of the son. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Mm -hmm. Make me one of your highest. I'm willing to take a lower level. Mm. Are you find me? You just take me back. But thank God the prodigal son's father, when he went there, he, the son began to start talking, and the father said, no, go kill the fatted calf. Mm -hmm. Put a ring on his finger and a robe on his finger. This is my son. Yes. You know what? He's still qualified. Yes, he did. He, what he did did not qualify, nope. disqualify for who he was. Thank, thank he you. still <laughs> is my son. And, and that's the whole goal is mm -hmm. grace means I'm qualified. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. I'm indefinably special. Mm -hmm. And I stand out in the crowd. People say, well, I know the past of Dr. Bell, I know the, the past of Dr. Craig, I know the past of Rita and Denisha, I know your past, but but Jesus said they're qualified. They're still qualified. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. That snake of sin been killed. Yes. That snake of sickness and disease is dead. That's right. That snake of poverty is dead. They're qualified yes, because yes. I took what I what, what I didn't deserve so they could get what they don't deserve. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So you got to see yourself, see the product of some was, was willing to disqualify himself. Mm -hmm. God, his father didn't do that. Mm -hmm. He just he said, I'm no longer worthy. See? Make me as one of your highest I, I'm going to wow. reduce myself. The father's never done that. That's you need to right. recognize that That's you right. are qualified you are. to get all the blessing of God mm -hmm. by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. So number three, Dr. Bell. Grace is supernatural, divine enablement given to you by God mm -hmm. to accomplish his predetermined will for your life. Sweatlessly, mm -hmm. effortlessly, and with ease, without stress, struggle, mm. or strain. And that reminds me of, of yesterday. Yes. Uh, our daughter Shakur called me. Yes. And so she was telling me, Mom, Mom, you never know what happened. I said, well, what happened? Well, tell me what it is. <laughs> she was just so amazed. She said that because she's, uh, uh, she's a writer and she's, had, she's written, she writes songs. And so uh, uh, a famous person that she knew, all the young people know, had uh, uh, texted her and told her that, that he liked her, her, her uh, songs and that he wanted to sign her onto his label. And I said, you know what? I said, that's favor. That's right. That is favor. Something yes. that you didn't even deserve. Yes. You know, you do your part and God will do his part. Do something that God is doing something in her life that, I mean, she was just like floored. And then this morning... Our daughter, uh, uh, Cherise had called, Cerise had called, and she said, Mom, Mom, guess what? She said, well, uh, 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 Kennedy, she had missed a bus, so I had to hurry up and get her to school. And she said, and I was looking a hot mess, but she said on the way home, she had stopped by the store. Mm -hmm. And when she stopped by the store, she went into the store, and she didn't know she had the, her, her, her uh, night bonnet on, and hair, her, her hair was hanging out of the bonnet. <laughs> and so she said... And this lady, she paid for my bill. Oh, my God. Yes. Look at yes. her husband. I said, you know what? That's 
favor. That's favor. That's right. <laughs> Something that you did not deserve. Mm -hmm. It was favor. <laughs> and that's what grace is. Yes, grace, grace is unmerited favor. Got it. That's what great grace is unmerited favor. Yes, and yes. see, God, and that's something about today. That that today uh, you're gonna get, you're gonna get an increase yes. of grace and favor on your life yes. for the next dimension of wealth for your life. <laughs> and that's it's, it's when God does those special somethings in your life. Yes. And you look back. Well, how's that happening? Yes. It's called grace. It's called the right. favor of God in your life. Right. <laughs> Amen. I didn't praise. deserve this. You didn't deserve it. But Jesus <laughs> but, did it yes, for you. He, did it he for became me. poor. Yes. That you through his pipe mm -hmm. may be made rich. Rich. And so they were both enriched. That's right. She Shakora enriched financially because yes. of the person signed her on. Yes. She reached and enriched financially because somebody paid her bill. Right. Praise God. Despite how she looked. Despite <laughs> how she looked. Ain't had nothing to do with how you look. And and, and that's what we're talking about today. That grace. grace. And if we can just begin to just re rest in that grace and yes. the favor of God yes. that He's released to us to become rich. Amen. We we received it for our sins. Mm -hmm. We became righteous. We received it for our bodies physically mm -hmm. by his special heal. Yes. Now yes. it's time to receive it for our finances and our wealth that he also became poor that we might become rich. Praise God. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. So Dr. Bell, read number four on our notes. Grace is God's abundant, overflowing, and unmerited favor. Mm -hmm. The gift of his approval where you are freely to Freely put right with him. Mm -hmm. It is irreversible, not until your next sin. Amen. See? That's good. Amen. It's 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 it's, yes. it's 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 that's right. See, so that's the thing. It's abundant, overflowing, unmerited favor. Mm. And they said favor ain't fair. It ain't fair. Praise <laughs> God. Favor ain't fair. Praise oh, God. Really you know, is. I wasn't Esther that found favor with the yes, king. She did. Out of everybody, everybody else, did. she found favor yes. with the king. And Lord. got and went from being a little, uh, 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 you know, little girl uh -huh. to a queen overnight. Amen. Why is that? Because she found favor, Amen. that unmerited favor. Yes. And so we can see then is that grace is God's abundant, overflowing, and unmerited favor. <laughs> Listen, it is the gift of His approval. My God, it is the gift. Wow. In other words, you've been approved already. Yes, the prodigal son had been approved. At, with his father, but he's trying to make himself disapprove because of his uh, inadequ inadequacies mm -hmm. and because of his failures mm -hmm. and because of his co sin consciousness. Mm -hmm. He felt he had to go and go through all this state about, Lord, mm -hmm. Father, forgive me. Mm -hmm. I'm no longer going to call your son. Mm -hmm. Father said, I don't want to hear all that. You're right. my son. Right. I'm just glad to have you home. That's Cause, right. Because what you did did not change who you are. Because of the grace of Almighty God. <laughs> In other words, it's, it, 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 and that grace is irreversible. Yes, it is. Not just to your next sin. Thank you. Because some people, well, I didn't sin. I guess I, 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 I'm not there no more. Oh, no, 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 no. How, how are you going to not be there no more right. when it's already been done? When it's already been done. You got to accept that <laughs> as a free gift. That's Baba right. says, by grace are you saved. Through mm -hmm. faith. You got to receive it by faith. That's right. See, grace is the gift of God. Mm -hmm. Faith goes and gets that gift right. and applies it into your life. Yes. I'm saying grace is the gift God has given yes. freely yes. without charge. That's good. Faith goes and gets what God has given by grace mm -hmm. and brings it into your life yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you receive that today in Jesus' name? Amen. So, it says not... He says, not of yourself. It is the gift of yes. God. So it's nothing that, that's what on the inside of us that's yes. doing all these things, you know, you know, making things happen. You know, that is not of us, he said, but it is the grace of God. That's right. And, and, and that's what people have to, re people yes. have to re recognize there. Because for some reason, we keep we come, we come right. with that same sin consciousness, trying to some kind of way deserve this. And it's, it's, just, mm -hmm. it's just too good to be true. Let me tell you, it is good and it is true. Yes, Amen. It is. And, and it's the grace of God <laughs> that God says, it's time for my people to operate in my grace. I'm a father. Mm -hmm. And I've already went ahead of them and provided all things for them. Amen. Bible says in the book of, of, of I think first and second Peter one three says that, that God has given us all things mm -hmm. that pertain to life and godliness. Yes. Ephesians 1, 3 says he's already blessed us with all spiritual blessings That's in right. heavenly places. Yes, so we gotta recognize that it's already ours. Mm -hmm. Grace, he's a father. He, yes. he, he did not let you and me into this earth that he's our provided. That's what Amen. a father does. Amen. And, and see, everything you get is get by grace, praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can, can you imagine a child coming in, getting, you know, you, 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 you brought Alfred, uh, you know, uh, or, or Charity or Sharice or Shakora into the house or, or Latanya into the house, and, but then, or Tim, and then uh, when you get there, so wait, but you got to pay for you getting here. Uh. 
No, it's our responsibility as parents yeah, right. to provide to for provide. them. You know, uh, you know, uh, and, and and I already have some cell phone when they get in the house. That's right. You know, the milk already there, the diapers right. already there. It's right. I, that was our responsibility. That's right. What you, you tell them, but wait a minute now, now you got to go in and you got to pay mm-hmm. for this. Now, or how about they if they if they um pee in their pants or or, or, or do number two in their pants? Mm-hmm. Do you get on them and say what's wrong with you? No, you no. as a parent you clean up. That's your responsibility. That's right. your responsibility. Because you want to, you know, that child is you you're growing that child up. Mm-hmm. Do that child sometimes uh, <laughs> sometimes that child dumb days? Amen. Oh, yeah. you, you you as a parent. You're still nurturing that child, mm-hmm. bleeding if you're training the way they should go when the old is not going to depart. Because right. you understand that, that, that you're plotting that grace on that life. God said, I love you with the everlasting love. And, yes. and what you start seeing is that you keep doing that and applying that grace on their lives, then that grace will draw them. Yes, it will. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Amen. So Amen. as we look at this, then, number five, Dr. Bell. Grace is Jesus carrying you, mm-hmm. not you carrying him. Mm. The cross is easy when it's carrying you. Amen. Praise my, God. My, my. Yes. Amen. Grace is Jesus carrying. So we, well, I'm carrying Jesus. Well. Oh, it's just so hard. Because I'm <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. Hold, 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 hold on. Hold horses. Hold, 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 horse. Huh? Grace is grace <laughs> is Jesus carrying you, yes. not you not carrying him. Amen. Jesus says here, look, he says, he said, Come unto me, yes. all you that labor. Mm-hmm. And I heavy laden, I will give you rest. Mm-hmm. Then he said this, take my yoke upon you yes. and learn of me, for I'm meek yes. and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. Amen. And he, all, and he, and he also says, he said, my yoke is easy mm-hmm. and my burden is light. That's right. See, when you're doing it by grace. When you're doing it by grace. But if you're not doing it by grace, <laughs> oh right. my God. Yes, yoke. Yeah, this yoke is yeah, hard. This, this thing sin. is yeah. This sin is hard. Right. Well, all right. Now, come on, get it, get it back on Jesus. Amen. Cast the first Peter five seven. Cast on the hold of your care oh, over on Him. That's because good. He cares for you. Yeah. Amen. He watches for you. Yes, He does. He 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 takes that thing mm-hmm. off of your shoulders. And say, you know what? Grace is me carrying it for you, yes. not you trying to carry me. Praise God. Glory to God. You got that today? Mm-hmm. So our points right out the bell. Grace is not a teaching mm-hmm. curriculum in a Bible school or a or a topic to learn. Mm-hmm. Grace is the person of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Grace is forever. It will never go out. Glory to God. Ever. Ain't that good? Hallelujah. So grace is not just a teaching. People, well, this y'all heard that teaching on grace. Grace is not a teaching. No. Amen. It's not a curriculum. Come on. In a Bible school. That's right. Although you may get in a Bible school, people try to get you get your uh, learn it and things mm-hmm. like that. But grace is the very person of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Mm, he is the grace of God. Amen. Yes. We are in the dimension of grace. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Grace is forever. Yes, it is. Amen. It's never going to go out. Mm-hmm. It's not a passing trend. Mm-hmm. It, is, it is a revelation. Now, there's some people that have gotten off track with it. Oh, yeah. Are you following me? Mm-hmm. But, 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 but the grace is still on track in the Bible. Praise yes, God. Amen. Amen. So, so number, this next point, Dr. Bell, mm-hmm. as you go scroll down to the next, the next mm-hmm. one. God has a new dimension of mm-hmm. grace that will cause you to move beyond fear and elevate you to a level where you will reign as kings in life. Mm. Jesus Christ. Are you ready for this new dimension of grace? Ready. I'm in it. I mean, I mean, yeah, you, you, you know what? You, you've been you've been saved. Yeah. Sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, and that yeah. with fire. Yeah. See. You've been shouting on this thing. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Uh, you've even experienced the grace concerning okay. healing. You someone laid hands upon you mm-hmm. and you got healing in your body. Praise God for that. Mm-hmm. How about now this new dimension of grace? Mm-hmm. That's getting ready to cause you to move beyond yeah. Fear of being rich. That's good. The fear of being wealthy. Yes. That's going to cause you, that's going to elevate you now to a level, mm-hmm. glory to God, mm-hmm. where you're going to reign as a king. Praise God. In life yes. through Jesus Christ. Yes. Well, well I, I want, we're going to read in the Bible, mm-hmm. uh, and, and this is going to come out the Amplified Version of the Bible, right. the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 17. Listen to how Apostle Paul uh, says this in the scripture. For if by for if because of one man's trespass, mm-hmm. the lapse, offense, death reign through that one, mm-hmm. much more surely will those who receive God's overflowing grace, unmerited favor, and the free gift of righteousness, putting them into right standing with himself, reign as kings in life through the one man, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one. Isn't that blessed? Yes. So it says, now look. Through one man's trespass. That was Adam. That was Adam. 
his last mm -hmm. death reigned through one. And we can mm -hmm. see that from the book, from the Genesis to the, to the time Jesus came in, death reigned, mm -hmm. sickness reigned, sin reigned, mm -hmm. disease reigned, poverty reigned. Are you following me? Yes. And you, all you got to do is look at, just read the Old Testament. You see, my God, this thing was really raining. Or look at America today, uh, praise God. Look at the world today. See, exactly. And you can see that sin is reigning in the oh world God. system right yes, now. Yes, it is. Greed, covetousness, Jesus. all these type of things is reigning mm. you know, in, 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 in the natural realm right now. Mm -hmm. But think about that. And they're all still under that government yes. called sin. Sin. Adam's transgression. That's right. It says, but then God goes on, and here it says, but much more. My God. As you look at the way sin has been reigning, mm -hmm. much more now mm -hmm. those who receive. Now, you got to receive this. Mm -hmm. God's overflowing mm -hmm. grace, mm -hmm. his unmerited favor unmerited. that's God. putting you into right standing with himself <laughs> reign as a king in life. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Through what? One man, Jesus Christ. That means everything that came on man, mm -hmm. sin, mm -hmm. sickness, disease, and poverty through Adam's sin mm -hmm. was now taken off of us yes. through Jesus' righteousness and his resurrection. Mm -hmm. And because of that, mm -hmm. you and I can now reign as a it's king in life. And I don't know what you like to bear. We've been through Africa. I ain't never seen a broke king. Nope. <laughs> That's right. I ain't never seen a broke king. Hey, no. You know what I mean? Never. You, if, if you go, you go to London and you and you and you and you go around the the, the queen and and the and the sons and the and the daughters and stuff like that. Man, you don't see none of them broke. Nope. You don't. You know. You don't see none of them on the streets begging for something. That's right. Are you following me? Because they're reigning as kings. Mm -hmm. They're they're in a kingdom and they belong to a kingdom. They uh -huh. they belong to a minor a, 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 a monarchy. Okay. Mo monarchy. A monarchy, yeah. Hey man, what do we call it? Mon hey monarch. Monarch. They belong to a monarch. Mm -hmm. So so you so you don't expect them to come out here poor. Thank you. You didn't expect their wedding when the two boys got married. You didn't right. expect some little, you know, a uh, 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 half shop, you know, uh, uh, wedding. You expected right. something that was going to be grandeur. Grand. That's right. That, that drew people like Oprah Riffin all <laughs> from around the world. And and, yeah. and and Dr. Bell was up at, at sure his last wedding until 3 o'clock in the morning yeah, yeah, with her hat on. Praise God. <laughs> people, 3 o'clock in the morning, read me that way. Why was that? Because because a king and a queen, right. people that were royalty, yeah. were getting married. Hey, don't hey, tell hey. me a royalty don't attract people. Come on, even today. Even today, royalty <laughs> attracts people. Uh -huh. Are you following me? And, and that's what I'm saying today. The body of Christ, your royalty. The Bible said we are a holy people, a royal generation. Yeah. That we should show forth the praises of him who have called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. And it's time for you and I to begin to reign yes. as kings in life through the grace Amen. of God given to us to be wealthy and to be rich in Jesus. Yeah, I'm saying yes. it. To be wealthy and wealthy rich in Jesus' rich. name. <laughs> Bible says in the book of Proverbs 30 to 22 that the wealth of the sinner has been laid up for the just. Mm -hmm. The M.F.I. Bible says, for whom it was laid up. That's and it's right. eventually finding its way into our hands. Yeah. But we got to begin to speak that. That's right. You got to stop uh, being afraid mm -hmm. to be a king and a queen. Mm -hmm. You got to stop being afraid to walk and live and act like kings and queens mm -hmm. of who you are. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise That's God. Right. Amen. So, therefore, we must follow the flow. We right? must follow the flow. We have to. You know, the, the mm -hmm. brother, brother Mark Messias, years ago, mm -hmm. I had lunch with him one time because mm -hmm. I was wondering how command somebody. The grace came on him for, for growth. Yes. I mean, his ministry just exploded all of a sudden. Exactly. I mean, last time I asked him, he had 40 members. Now he got 1,000 members. I, said, mm -hmm. I, had, I, said, I had lunch with him. I said, man, Pastor, what happened? Mm -hmm. He said, Brother Craig, <laughs> when you find the flow, you'll grow. Come on. I never got that. Yes. He said, when you find the flow, you will grow. <laughs> and that flow is understanding the grace of God. That's it. And how to take what God has given to you by grace, mm -hmm. using your faith to bring it into your yes. life. Yes. Grace is what God has provided. Mm -hmm. Faith is what God has given us to bring into our lives what grace has provided. That's right. Glory to God. So, so therefore, we just can't sit back and just let God do everything. No. Mm -hmm. He's given that faith to work yes. it out. Because if we don't work it out, it, we'll never get it. That's so right. We have to do all, God has already done his part. And he sent Jesus. And Jesus did his part. So, therefore, we have to use our part by using our faith to get whatever we need in life. And that's it. Jesus told the blind man, Bartimaeus, mm -hmm. according to your faith, your be done faith. to you. That's in other it. words, I'm grace. He was grace. Right, right. So Jesus was there. The grace was there. Right. 
He, he, no, so the grace was there. He was grace. Oh, yeah. He was, Jebus was unmerited favor. Yes, he was. Jebus was all, all of that. Uh -huh. But he said, but, but now you, you can only get what's in me yeah. with your faith. That's it. He said, according <laughs> to your faith, you can draw out of me who is grace, what it is. And, and the woman through your blood. Yeah, look at that. She, 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 she took that grace. Yes, she did. Because she knew grace was there. That's right. Grace was healing. Even the man at Bethesda, at the pool of Bethesda. Yes. It, 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 Jesus told him to do something and he did it. You, you, you got to take up your bed and walk. You have to take that's it That's it. And, and that's the whole goal. Is this the woman mm. is your blood? Did not oh wait God. on Jesus because Jesus is grace. Come on. Grace was already there provided. Yes. But then Jesus said, Your faith drew out of me what grace had already provided for See you. There. Glory to God. <laughs> you got that? He said, Lady, your faith made you whole. Made you grace whole. was there. Jesus is grace. He's unmerited favor. Yes. All we need is in Him. But, it, but she, he told her, your faith mm. made you whole. Your the Bible said, virtue went out of Jesus yes. into her body. Yes. Effect yes. healing and cure. So what I'm saying is that now, you understand Jesus is grace. Mm -hmm. All that we have is in him. Mm -hmm. But our faith begin to speak this and begin to declare it. Yes. And, and God take us to another level of, of this grace and this oh, favor in our God. lives in the area of wealth. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, you can draw it out of me with your That's faith. That's right. Glory to God. Can you yes. get that today? Amen. So number six, Dr. Bell. Grace is unearned and unmerited favor, which means we all qualify. Mm, that's right. Every last don't, one. Don't <laughs> never get so impressed with other people. Yeah. That you feel like they're the only one to qualify. Mm -mm. You know, in other words, I remember when I was, I was in ministry school, one of our, 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 our dean of the school, our dean De Silva. You remember mm -hmm. him? Oh, yeah. I remember I was just talking to him about certain people that I kind of admired. Nothing, nothing he told me. He said, look, he's a brother Craig. He said, look. He says, the people that you are admiring, there's nothing wrong with that. He said, but mm -hmm. the only thing between you and them is what they know and what you need to learn. Mm -hmm. If you will learn what they know, then you can get everything that they got. Yes. Because it's, because God has no favorites. He is favor. Mm -hmm. And you, and you got to begin to apply your faith in those yes, areas. Do. Because God's taking you to a whole other dimension of, yes. of, of, of wealth. Mm -hmm. But you got to see that grace has already provided it. And now you got to get your faith to go out there and get it. And that's yes. why you, I'm teaching this right now. What I'm teaching right now, faith is in these words I'm teaching you. Yes, it is. Take a hold of this. Yes. And receive it in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Glory to God. Amen. Praise mm -hmm. God. So, number seven, Dr. Bell. Grace is that indefiable something that makes you special. Mm -hmm. It makes you stand out in the crowd. Mm -hmm. You can't put your finger on it. So it's that it, it's indefinable. You can't define grace. You just can't. It, it, it's, it's just something on you that makes you yes. special. Yes, it does. It makes you stand out in the crowd. So what's on them? Mm -hmm. It's called grace. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they're using their faith to get this grace manifested in their lives. Yes, yes. And it's showing up in their spiritual life. Mm -hmm. It's showing up in their physical life. Mm -hmm. And it's showing up in their financial life. Yes. They've learned how to apply and appropriate the grace of God Amen. in their lives. Amen. So, uh, letter A, Dr. Bell. Grace is not just your talent, mm -hmm. looks, personality, education, or your hard work. It's God's breathing in your direction. You look back and say, how did I get to where I am? It's not my ability. And that's so important. Yes, it is. It's not about your talent. It's not about your good looks. No. Nope. Personality, thank God for good looks, thank God for uh -huh. talent, praise God. <laughs> but but it had nothing to do with that. No. Uh uh you know, remember that like Cece said she would just dress any kind of way. Right. And the woman still paid for a bill. Still paid so it wasn't about it wasn't about right. how she was looking that right. day. It was, it was God breathing in yeah, her direction. In her direction. Are you following? Beautiful. When she you can look back and you can say, you know what? I remember we first started <laughs> off in in, a, in, in, in church. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I remember uh, we didn't have no way to get no clothes. Right. And I remember you sold that Dr. Bell bought a sewing machine. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and she sold me a suit and her and her a suit. Ooh. It was lime green. <laughs> a lime green suit, praise God. And we wore it. And, and we wore it. That's right. Because we didn't have no money to do it. <laughs> and and then I remember, you know, I, you know, I needed an overcoat and you know, oh, and, and we're going because be cold. Went to I mean, I remember going to Goodwill buying yeah. an overcoat, yeah. you know, at Goodwill and that cat. I remember going to, um, uh, to that time with Field 205, now it's called Payless sh Shoes, right. buying me some hush puppy <laughs> shoes, and, and I wear them until they got ran mm -hmm. over. But we look back, and say, as you look back, oh, thank you, Father. Of where you come from. Thank you, Lord. You say, how did we get to where we are? <laughs> that now we've been around the world. Oh, my God. We've trained over 3,000 students in Arizona. Yeah. We've trained over uh, probably pretty close to 10,000 throughout the nations of Africa oh, yeah. and, and London, England, and, and around the world. Mm -hmm. And we look at what. Now we're in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. We're building a house here. Mm -hmm. 
Look at how did we get to where we are. My God. It's been by the grace, the grace. of Thank God. Thank you for your grace, Father. That's God. what we're looking Thank at, Saints. When you think about where you come from. Thank you, Father. And you really, you really look at where you are today. Yes, yes, yes. How did you get there? It was the grace of God. Yes. And we got our faith to working That's to right. pull what grace was providing for us. Amen. And that's the thing happening to you right now. Mm -hmm. This grace, this next dimension of grace yes. has come to you. Yes. It has arrived. It's here. Are you ready to receive it? <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Number number eight. Grace is what God has put on you to give an advantage to draw opportunity. Mm. So grace is what God put on you to yes. give you an advantage and to draw opportunity. That's grace right. draws opportunities to yes, you. Yes, it does. And you say, man, <laughs> how do I get to know people? Mm -hmm. I think about you know people that we that we got a chance to know over the last over over the over the years the last thirty years mm -hmm. Apostle Price and Apostle Ivy Hilliard and a lot of great men Teal Osborne I mean one oh, time I've been God. reading about Teal Osborne for like thirty years mm -hmm. his books and tapes and things like that and I had an opportunity because mm -hmm. because I knew somebody that knew him <laughs> Amen uh, 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 mm -hmm. one lady that we knew Pastor, Dr Patricia Bailey mm -hmm. she used to, she was mentored by Teal Osborne mm -hmm. got in there at a uh, at a at a, at a conference. conference. Uh -huh. And then just happened to be Pastor Alan Landry was driving with his driver while he was here. Mm -hmm. And me and Pastor Landry was, was covenant friends. Mm -hmm. I called Pastor Landry and said, Pastor Landry, I said, I've been wanting to just at least meet this man. I've been yeah. studying him for the last 30 years. Yeah. I done read his books, listened to his tapes. Mm -hmm. I done watched him in Africa drawing four and five hundred uh, uh, thousand people at one time. Mm -hmm. If I can just meet him. Oh and God. man, uh, Pastor Landry said, uh, he called me back to the pastor. He said, mm -hmm. Till Lobby said, not only will he want to meet you, he'll have breakfast with you in the See tomorrow morning. There. I said, oh my God, breakfast with me in the morning. <laughs> Grace. Yes. And great faith. favor. Yes. You know, to have someone at that level uh -huh. that I just want to meet, to sit my and have breakfast God. with me. And he's he able to share some things with me. Yes. Hallelujah. That, you know, that shared me more about, about reaching the world and, and, and what the gospel was and, yes. and, 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 he, and, and how to. Teach that God like that. I had the opportunity to spend that time with Him. Mm -hmm. Of course, I look back on my life and, and our yes. lives. So look at the with grace of God and the opportunities that God has given us. I mean. But you know what? That's why right now, my seven Dr. Bell can bring all of that yes. grace yes. to you. Yes. Glory it's to God. Here. It's Amen. to you today. Yes. And say, according to your faith, Be you can receive you. that same grace <laughs> and greater grace for yes. your life today. Amen. Amen. Number nine. Amen. Number nine, grace is God's gracious hand, his favor that caused you to overcome obstacles and to accomplish your mm. dreams. Grace is yes. God's gracious hand on your life. Oh, his my God. Hand. Look at that. Look I love says that, 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 that what makes a person change. Yes. It's not so much of your struggle and your strain. All right. It's when God looks at you mm -hmm. and he says, you know what? I want to favor you. Mm -hmm. That's what God told jo Joseph. God told Joseph, "This is um, you're gonna you're gonna rise above all your family members." Oh wow! Joseph, oh my God, that's a dream. That's a powerful dream. Mm -hmm. But you know what? All it takes when God touches you, put His finger on your head, all right. and that grace come on you. Yeah. David out there with the with the with the uh, sheep, uh -huh. and and Samuel now trying to go through this, the the regular system of choosing the next king. Oh, but David out there in the midst of the sheep, mm -hmm. uh, uh, God said, "No, I've already chosen a man." That I put my touch on his hands. My God. He will be my king. <laughs> That's it. All it takes and tastes up and is when God puts his little finger on your mm -hmm. and his big finger <laughs> on your and take. your and your little and my little head. That's right. And all of a sudden things are never the yes. same. Opportunities yes. and advantages starts coming to us from that point on. That's right. And all of a sudden you start overcoming obstacles. Mm -hmm. You start accomplishing dreams mm -hmm. supernaturally mm -hmm. because of God's grace and his favor. On your life. That's right. And all it all it takes is a touch. Mm, it's him touching your life. That's all. And you're never the same after that. He don't have to shove you. No, he, he doesn't shove he, you. He don't have to knock you upside your head. No, uh -uh. it's just a touch. Yes, of his face. And, and that's the whole goal. I don't because because I, I, I come from way out there. I come from the streets, lines, yes. and like that. And you would think a person like me, the life right. I was living, that God would never be the one that had chosen me. But when, I, but when I got saved in the in the water, I was in the baptismal water. On, God now. touched me in that water. <laughs> the presence of God came all over me. I ain't been the same since. Hallelujah. Yes. He took a drug dealer, praise God, to a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank Amen. You. With a touch. With a touch. Amen. With it a is. touch of his favor on our <laughs> life. Praise God. And that's what you need to recognize today. That's, right. that's what's on you right now. Yes. 
Yes. That's what the Spirit of God is releasing on you right now. Yes. That you're never going to be the same again. That's right. Because this grace and this favor and these divine opportunities are coming to your way. And his presence is going to be on you from this day forward in Jesus' name. Num num number the, uh, uh, well, number A. Uh, 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 grace then uh -huh. uh, uh, does not look. Let me this. Grace does not look at what you have. All right. But what you, uh, 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 but whom you have, mm -hmm. that makes all the difference. So it's not about what you have. Yeah. Some, now that's sometime in man's world is based on what you got. Come on. You know, if you become a big giver, you find yourself getting the, you know the the cheap seats. You get better seats when you when you uh when you when you give, give a lot. Uh -huh. If you ain't giving that much, you don't get too many seats, or you start finding yourself getting farther and farther back. Praise God. Mm. But the whole goal is God don't do that. Come on now. You always got a front seat with God. Yes, the Bible says with the grace. The Bible says come boldly. To the throne of grace, Come on. that you may find grace and mercy to help you in your time of need. Because God has no respect of person, so That's you can right. always come to the throne of grace, of grace. and have a front seat yes. at the throne of grace. Yes, you can. Amen. So grace then uh -huh. will cause the manifested presence of the Lord mm -hmm. to listen now to mm -hmm. shine so bright, gloriously mm -hmm. through your hands yes. that even unbelieving heathens can see tangible results of the Lord's special anointing, his power, and blessing on your life. Amen. And that reminds me of this past Sunday. Mm -hmm. We had went out to eat, mm -hmm. and so we had to wait because uh, the, the restaurant was crowded. And so myself and Apostle Craig, we just happened, we just sit down to uh, uh, wait for our names to be called. And there was this, when we sit down, there was this homeless man. He was right Right, right at the uh, sidewalk there, sitting there just minding his own business, eating his grapes. And he turned around and he looked at us and he said to us, you guys really uh, inspire me. Now that's a homeless man. It's homeless man. That's right. Saying, yeah. Homeless. I mean, because he saw what he saw the grace and he saw the anointing on our life. Not just because we was just dressed up. Of course we was dressed up. I'm pretty sure that's what he saw. But still he said that I, we inspire him when, when, you know, sometimes we can't even get Christians to even to say that. Yeah. I, I mean, I was just so amazed that he turned around. He didn't care who, who, who was around us mm -hmm. or, or, or what, what had happened, but he said that we inspired him, but it was all because the grace and the anointing of God that's on it. our life. So that's what I said. So grace would then cause yes. the manifested presence yes. of the Lord yes. to shine so gloriously. Yes. Through your hands, right. that even unbelieving heathens there it is. can see <laughs> tangible results of the Lord's special anointing, power, and blessing on your life. There it is. That that's what happened to Joseph. Oh yeah. The Bible said that that, that, that Pharaoh, I think it was Pharaoh, whoever it was, mm -hmm. saw that the blessing of the Lord was on Joseph. Yes. On everything he was doing, and he mm -hmm. brought him his house, man. You got, I want to right. put you over everything. Yeah. He said, because I can see. <laughs> now this is a heathen. My but God. he said, I can see the blessing of the Lord is on you, wow. Joseph. And he brought him into his own house and put him over everything. That's right. And that's what I'm that's saying today <laughs> is that what God's doing in your life right mm -hmm. now, I believe it was part of for it was part of for I think it was that. Mm -hmm. But he saw, he said, I see on Joseph's life mm -hmm. uh, that everything he touches is 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 is, is being blessed. Mm -hmm. I want him to be a part of that. Yes. And that's what people are going to see. The unbelievers, when that's on your life, yes. even unbelievers, as Dr. Bell said, will recognize it on your life. That's right. So number 10, Dr. Bell. Grace is God's manifested presence in your life. Mm -hmm. Grace is not dependent on your skills, experience, or natural connections. All grace needs is the Lord's presence. That's right. So you don't have to be around people, <laughs> you know, uh, work, work. Trying to so, get in, fit in. Yeah, trying to work the crowd. Right. You're trying to work the crowd. Are you following me? I go to conferences sometimes, uh -huh. and sometimes you, you see these little, these little cl clusters of crowds. Uh -huh. And everybody trying to fit in and trying to, you know, like, you know, be, be you know, bigger than everybody else. I just kind of sit on to the side. Are mm -hmm. you following me? Because mm -hmm. cause grace is not nothing to do with your skills, mm -hmm. your experience, your, net, your connections. Mm -hmm. All you need in grace is the Lord's presence on your life. Amen. Amen. And Jesus and his grace yes. will rescue you. No matter what crisis you're in. That's right. Now, I want, I want to read this because this mm -hmm. message is very important here. Because mm -hmm. grace will rescue you even mm -hmm. in circumstances around you appear bleak. My and I like this part I wrote in here. Mm -hmm. That even, mm. think about this now, even if people I once trusted wow. disappointed me. Yes. Envy, envy me. Mm -hmm. Hate me. <laughs> betrayed me. Mm -hmm. Tried to destroy me. See. And left me stripped. With credit card debt, my God, bank account dried up, yeah. loss of income, mm -hmm. 
No idea how I'm going to pay next month's rent. See? About to be evicted. Facing foreclosure. Mm -hmm. And the whole world seems to be crushing down around me. Mm -hmm. And I feel crushed, frustrated, and disappointed. Yet Jesus, Jesus. and his grace will rescue me. Amen. <laughs> and Glory. he did. And he did. Praise <laughs> God. Hallelujah. He did. Yes, and he's he still did. doing it in he's Jesus' name. You got to recognize that. That's right. Grace is a rescuer. Yes. Hallelujah, man. What you, people have done you wrong, left you, and, and did you wrong, but grace, grace will lift you where disappointment uh, disappointed you. Amen. And, you know, I've been, we've been there, but you know what I'm telling you, you're there too. It's, this is your day to day. Amen. The grace now is rescuing you out of yes. all of that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. So think about this. Now, so we're talking about this, mm -hmm. about greater grace mm -hmm. for your next dimension. Yes. And mm -hmm. one of the things that we do, we talk about this every day. Mm -hmm. And, I, 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 and this is not for everybody on Facebook, you know, because sometimes I don't want you criticizing this. Amen. If this is, the Bible says, the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, mm -hmm. for their spirit to discern. Mm -hmm. But for you that are Christians on here, or you that, that maybe you're not saved, but you understand what we're saying, God is Amen. teaching you what we're saying today, then this, this next point is for you. Yes, it is. To, to, to go to the next level of grace, mm -hmm. God talks about the, the principle of seed, time, and harvest. I'm going to give you some scriptures on this for a moment. Mm -hmm. In other words, your seed mm -hmm. that you sow yes. will launch you mm. into the next dimension of grace mm -hmm. where you obligate, listen now, where you obligate God's integrity yes. to perform on your behalf. Come I'll say it now. again. Your seed mm -hmm. born out of the grace of God and the favor of God will launch you to the next dimension mm -hmm. of grace where you obligate God's mm -hmm. integrity. Come on. To perform on your behalf. Yes. And let's see if the scripture backs it up. Second Corinthians yes. chapter number nine and verse number six, Dr. Bell. Second Corinthians but, nine six. But this I say, mm -hmm. he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. Mm -hmm. And and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he has purposed in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. So look what he says here. My God. He starts <laughs> off in the principle that God initiated yes. in, in Genesis chapter 8. Yes. Where God says from this point on, uh -huh. cold and heat, summer and winter, mm. seed time and harvest right. shall not cease. Okay. And so God instituted that principle or that law into the earth. Mm -hmm. And then in Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7, he said, and what, from this point on, God is not mocked. Mm -hmm. Whatever a man sows, that shall he also reap. Mm -hmm. So your seed then is what launches you into that greater grace of, that's that greater dimension of grace where you obligate God yes. and his integrity mm -hmm. to perform on your behalf. Mm -hmm. And in verse number 80, he says that God yeah. is able to make all grace. <laughs> Get that? Mm -hmm. Through your seed. Mm -hmm. Through your seed that you sow. Mm -hmm. He said that, that it will launch you into this point yes. where God is able to make all grace all right. abound toward you. Yes. The Amplified Bible says like this. And, 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 and oh my God, let me, let me get this so I can make uh -huh. sure that y'all get this in, in Number here. Eight. Number eight in the Amplified Bible, it says, and God is able uh -huh. to, make to make all, all grace, grace every, every favor and earthly blessing come uh -huh. to you in abundance. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Can you see that today? <laughs> so he says that, that, that God is able to do that. Mm -hmm. but, but your seed mm -hmm. is what launches you into that greater grace level of your life. He said grace means that favor uh, uh, and earthly blessing, mm -hmm. that seed will cause it to come to you in what? Abundance. abundance. Is that right? That's right? And then he goes on to say in the Amplified Version, mm -hmm. uh, there, uh, he says, so that you may always, always, under all circumstances, and whatever the need, wow. be self-sufficient, mm. possessing enough mm -hmm. to require yes. no aid or assistance, uh, 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 do require uh, yeah, uh, no aid or support, mm -hmm. furnished in abundance for every good work and, and charitable, charitable donation. donation. And that's why I said your seed, your seed, <laughs> based on verse six, seven, and eight, 
of uh, First Corinthians or uh, Second Corinthians chapter nine verse six, mm -hmm. your seed then is what launches you into that greater dimension of grace, yes. favor, and earthly blessing, where you obligate God mm -hmm. and His integrity. To perform on your behalf. Amen. Oh, and, and you know, God will perform on, on, on our behalf. Yes. Because, you know, I, I'm getting ready to uh, sow a seed. Yes. And uh, and so I was, you know, in my closet, you know, getting getting, re getting my seed ready to sow that I can uh, give. And then last night, you know, because yesterday you had told me, you know, you know what kind, how, how much money we needed to uh, come up with in order to get our house. And say, so, okay, I'll say, Father, I'm going to sow my seed of 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 of, of, of uh, into someone's ministry and so when i did that then i went to bed knowing you know i say you know god he just confirmed in my spirit he said you know what you don't have to worry about nothing he said i got you yes and yes. so and i was just laying there and i was just i was just so talkative last night i guess that dr gray said why don't you just go to sleep <laughs> and so and 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 that was in the back of my mind but i didn't have no worries because if god told me he said he gonna take care of me he said he gonna take care of me and low, and so I was just laying there, you know, didn't go to sleep immediately. So I was just laying there praying. And as I was praying, God said, I got you. I said, all right then. And then after I finished praying, it was five minutes. I got it right here. Hold on. At, you know, me talking to God, God talking to me. At 11.43 p.m. Yes. A, 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 a donation came in. Of a hundred dollar seed, praise and God. So that that gave me, con, you know, confirmation that God, when God said He got you, He got you, yes. and He will confirm it. He He will confirm it with signs following at eleven forty three p.m. That's praise when God. God confirmed His word to me. <laughs> God will keep people up late. <laughs> yes, He will. To make sure that he, again, because your seed <laughs> obligates God. Yes. I'm yes, saying again, your seed, your seed will launch you into a greater dimension oh of grace <laughs> where you obligate God's yes. integrity my God. to perform on your behalf. Yes. Uh, 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 MFI, God, verse 8, God is able to make, to make all, all grace, and every, every favor, and earthly blessing mm. come to you in abundance. See there. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> this is your time. This is it. To be elevated. Yes. To this next dimension of grace Praise and favor in your life. Beautiful. Now, again, <laughs> this is to those that have ears to hear. Mm -hmm. Bible said, he that hath an ear to hear, mm -hmm. let him hear what the Spirit of God is saying. Mm -hmm. Dr. Bev heard that. Yes, I did. She heard that. <laughs> so she was rest because grace allows you to rest. Thank you, Lord. Because you now you've now you've taken what well, you've taken what God provided by grace mm -hmm. and you put that seed that was your faith working. Yes. See, so grace was there. Mm -hmm. Favor was there, but that seed yes. obligated God Thank you, Lord. to perform on her behalf. <laughs> Glory to God. Are you following Thank it today? You, Lord, so that's what the Spirit of God has said to you today. Now, again, this is church. Uh -huh. We're going to receive the, we're going to receive your seed. Many of you are tied in your offerings right at this time. Uh -huh. But I want to give you the word of God because, again, this is not for criticism. Mm -hmm. He that has an ear to hear, mm -hmm. let him hear. Mm -hmm. Many of you listening to me right now, you are on God's, uh, yes. you're on God's agenda right now. Yes, you are. Man, you're on God's, man, you're right on God's agenda right now. Mm -hmm. God's got, you know, pulled your card. That's right. Because you've been praying that you want to, you want to go to this next level mm -hmm. of grace, this next level of wealth. Mm -hmm. This is the word for you. Mm -hmm. He that has an ear to hear, let him hear. Let him hear. What the Spirit is saying. Beautiful. Hallelujah. And so as you do this right now, again, According to Luke 6, 38, the Bible says, give and it shall be given to you again. Mm -hmm. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and run over, shall men yes. give it to you. But that means God going to call you men right. to use their power, their ability, and their resources mm -hmm. to help you. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So that's what we believe in God for today for your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. That that this is a word for you. This is a word for us Amen. too. Amen. That's right. Yes, it for is. For us too. Amen. We receive this word yes, too. Praise it. God. But Today is going to launch a whole new level and of greatness and grace and favor Praise and earthly blessing on your life, Amen. your ministry, your church, yes. your business in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. of Nazareth. So we're going to pray. So Dr. Craig, how do I, how do I get that seed out of my hand? Yes. Get that seed sown right now in Jesus' right. name. Well, there's three different ways. Number one, well, you can go right there on Facebook or if you're on YouTube, listen, if you're on YouTube, just click the, the, uh, the little... The, the, on YouTube, you click the little down the way you can, but it calls you to go down, and, and and it'll take you right now to this link. But if you're on Facebook, right there, it, it, you click the link on Facebook, or you go to the, the Cash App. It's dollar sign Apostle I am. That's dollar sign Apostle I am, or the website at uh, I am Ministries.org. 
any one of those three ways out there, you can you can sow your seed. Again, yeah. the uh, the website. I mean, I mean the, the link right there. Click that link right there on mm -hmm. Facebook or on YouTube. The, just click the little down deal there. Uh, again, cash out dollar sign apostle I am or website iamministries.org, and you can sow that seed. Now I say this: pray. Amen. That's good. Don't never let some man manipulate seed out of Thank you. Thank you. What is your heart telling you? Amen. Because God is wanting to graduate you when you learn to hear his voice. Amen. And what is God saying to you That's good. as a seed? Amen. Because that seed launches you to that next level of favor. Yes, it does. Uh, one time, my son, Dr. Bell, we was believing for a house. Mm -hmm. You follow me? And, uh, and, and, we, and we had prophets one need to buy them. They're with us at that time. We was in a, we was in a week long revival. Mm -hmm. We was a hundred thousand uh, 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 dollars uh, needed by the, by the end of that night. Right. Because yeah. a week long revival costs quite a bit of money. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, but the Lord put in our heart to sow ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars uh, of the money we was, we, that we believe in God for our house. Right. And uh, when we sold that that you know we sold that ten thousand dollars that we believe God for our house mm -hmm. into that into that ministry. That's right. And what happened was. Uh, uh, about a few weeks later, we were invited to go to uh, one of our members' house that was having a, a house warming, mm -hmm. and he wanted yeah. us to come down and dedicate the house. Mm -hmm. We wanted that specifically for that. Had no idea what God was going to do, mm -hmm. but there was a lady that was from Iran, mm -hmm. you know, older lady, and uh, she and she she took to us favor. She saw the favor. She saw the favor in our life. <laughs> she said, "She said I would like to invite you. There was other people there too, but right. she, she said I would like she to know us. She didn't even know who we were. No. She didn't even know we believe in God for a house." All right. But she said, I want to invite you all to come to my house for dinner. I said, no problem. So we go out there, and it was in Scottsdale, northern Scottsdale. And, uh, and we go there, and, uh, and we get there, and she lived right. She, had, she lived on five acres of land, mm -hmm. a horse property, everything I believe in God for. She said, I invite you all here because I want to sell you my house. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> is that what we're looking for? Mm -hmm. And she said, um, my son is a doctor. He lives in San Francisco, and he, won't, he don't want to sit here by myself anymore. And I, and I wanted someone that prays. To be in this home, you wanted a man of God, and a man of God. And she said, and, I, and you know, and God was she, she was a bit attracted to us. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, you know, and so I, we mm -hmm. talked about this. She said, look, he said, right now the uh, uh, the house right now is valued at nine hundred thousand dollars, but I want to sell it to you off at seven hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. My God, really, <laughs> a house coming into a house with two hundred thousand dollars equity coming in already. And she My said, we, we don't have to go to a, a real estate because we can we can save that money on a real estate agent God. also. Yeah. So now we're saving the money on a real estate agent. Yes. Now the house that we're getting now is we're getting it at the at a cost of two hundred thousand dollars of equity at the at the sale. Yes. And yes. And, and and it just went seamlessly. Yes. With no <laughs> sweat at all. <clears throat> and then that house we was in there about four or five years. Thanks, like that, Jamel. And 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 we sold that house See? in the four or five years for one point five million dollars. So you so was that seed important? Yes, <laughs> that seed that we sold mm -hmm. a year for me was a seed that, that released. Uh, let, me, yes. let me get this right here. I'm, I'm gonna read my scripture, my point again here. That seed that we sold. Mm -hmm. Let me get this here. Right here. Yes, well, that seed that we sold mm -hmm. launched us yes. into a greater right. level, a greater dimension of grace. Mm -hmm. Well, we obligated God's yes. integrity to perform on our behalf. On our behalf, and he did. And he did. Ooh, I'm telling you. That's the power of your seed. And so when you're sowing this, we know it by experience. Yes, we do. Right now, you have to do it by faith. We know this by experience. That's right. That when God speaks to you concerning the seed, $10,000 was not easy to let go of. All right. Because we, we were saving money for our house. Yes. But when God spoke it to our heart, yes, we, we was in that know. meeting. Not only did that happen, <clears throat> but when we sold that seed, mm -hmm. some in the audience, one of our members, said, Dr. Craig, I'm going to meet the rest of the budget. That's right. And at that time, it was like almost by, right about $90,000. They sold the final seed in that, in that, in that, in that meeting we had, yes. in that conference, that, that, that knocked the budget out. Amen. So, but, but my seed initiated Ooh. that thing to start happening. Yes. And so sometimes what you don't recognize is this, is that sometimes the Lord is saying, you've been praying for me, mm -hmm. you've been praying to me mm -hmm. for a greater level of wealth in your life. Mm -hmm. He said, your seed will obligate me to do it. Come on. Yes. Your, your seed will go from grace to a covenant. Praise God. That obligates me yes, yes, yes. to perform on your behalf. There it is. And so as you do this today, don't just do it. To, you know, say, well, let me, let me, let me help Dr. Craig. That is not the, no. ain't no blessing in that. That's right. The blessing is only when you hear God said something to you Amen. and you follow through what God says. That's it. What does that, ten, like we did a $10,000, mm -hmm. we did that $10,000 and God brought it and manifested it at home to us. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 we, uh, you can do it for a thousand dollars, do it five hundred dollars, do it for ten dollars. But whatever God speaks to your heart, that's right. That's mm-hmm. God saying, I need you to get into this area. Some of you, it's time for you to up what you've been doing because yes. you, you're praying for greater, mm-hmm. but you're not giving greater. See. So listen to God, listen. and God will give you what you need because your seed. Is the only thing connected to your future. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, your seed Beautiful. is connected to your future. Beautiful. Whatever you <laughs> sow, that shall you reap in Amen. Jesus' name. So praise God. We're going to pray for you right now. Yes. I'm believing God. This is Thank a word for Lord. you. And we're believing God that this is this is on your life right now in the Thank name you. of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we receive the seed uh, and the offering, the tithing from your people today. Yes. And Lord, we set ourselves in agreement with them that as they sow that seed, that your covenant now goes yes. into force on their behalf yes. to cause increase, blessing, yes, and favor to come to them in abundance, Father. That brings them out of poverty yes. and lack into abundance yes, that comes directly from you Thank in your you, favor, Father. in your grace, in their lives. In Jesus', Jesus name, name, amen. amen. And amen. Praise, Praise God. God. We thank God for that. Amen. Well, it's been a great time being with you. Uh, 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 tomorrow, we're going to be on the road. So we may, we may come on a little different time tomorrow. Or we may talk to y'all while we're on the road. We're going to be traveling into Phoenix, Arizona amen. tomorrow. Praise God. And so we may not come on at 11 o'clock. But we'll just, we're going to, I'll, I'll send something out to you all. Let you know what time we're coming on. Because mm-hmm. we're going to be on the road. Going to travel to Phoenix. We're going to be there from Friday through Monday. Praise God. It's going to be a great but time. We see, but we will see them on Sunday. But, we, but you, for you that are part of I Am yes. Ministry, we'll see y'all on Sunday. We'll be there amen. at I Am on Sunday there. Amen. At Pastor Alan Noel's there. So mm-hmm. looking forward to that. Love y'all so much. Amen. Until uh, we see you again. This is a Dr. Alfred Craig. And Dr. Bev saying, May God's, God's riches and, and his very best be yours. God bless God you. Bless. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.